Hello, dears. Welcome to Beauty by Heart. I'm Lily, as soon as Lily. Today, I'll be sharing with you, dears, Silky Girl Lip to Cheek Flush, Swatches, and Review. Hopefully, this video is helpful for you. And now, let's get started. Silky Girl released this new Lip to Cheek Flush in August 2023. This is an interesting addition to their line. The product amount is not shown on the packaging, but the tube looks huge. The packaging of the blusher shows the color of the product so that from a distance away, you can easily choose the color that you want to apply. It comes with a nice two foot applicator and it contains a scent that immediately reminded me of my Focalil Super Glossy Tint. Not exactly a fan of the scent, but also not repelled by it. Most of the cyclical products are fragrance free but I realized recently they love to add fragrance into their product, so I assume that is to add fun to the user experience. Silky Girl is widely available at various online and offline retailers, including Watson, Garden Pharmacy, Shopee, and Lazada. These lip to cheek flush are retailing at $19 each in Singapore and 29.90 ringgit each in Malaysia. Since Watson, Garden Pharmacy and online malls often have promotions, it's worth waiting for one before making a purchase. This lip to cheek flush can be used as blusher and lipstick. It comes with 5 opaque colours. After applying, they set it to an airy, lightweight, blurry, dreamy matte finish. They are non-sticky on both my lips and cheeks. My cheeks don't feel dry after applying, but my lips feel tight. My lips are naturally dry and it's getting drier as age increases, regardless how I moisturize and scrub them. Inevitably, my lip lines are more pronounced with any matte lipsticks. These lip to cheek flush contain Camilla Japonica to moisturize lips and cheeks. They are alcohol free and carmine free. These are super long lasting as a blusher when I'm wearing them alone. I was wearing a tinted primer without foundation and applied the color number 2 Tender Rose on the cheek at 10.37 am and on the lips at 10.43 am. I did a first check in about 1.5 hour later I applied, they still look vibrant on both the cheeks and lips. Around 4 hours after applying and eating, I did a second check in. The blusher still looks good. On the lips after eating, it seems to fade a little. However, when I wipe them with a tissue paper, the lipstick is gone. The lipstick longevity test ends here. About 12 and a half hours after applying, I did the final check-in on the blush. It fades a little. But I would say the stain power is fantastic. Almost lasts the whole day. On the other hand, I wouldn't say the same when they are mixed with liquid highlighter or lip gloss. They are not designed in this way. Despite having great stain power, I am able to remove them during my swatches with my regular micellar water makeup remover. Here, I'm doing the transfer proof test on both the cheeks and lips with a piece of tissue. On the cheeks, they stay very well and it's non transferable, can be worn under the surgical mask. Yet, on the lips, it transfers a tiny little bit. You can create different makeup looks with this lip to cheek flush. As mentioned, they are highly pigmented. Each time when I apply them with my finger on the cheeks, my hubby Mr. Kwan will always say that my cheeks look too red, but I look cute. <laughs> but if you dears are into the tomato makeup look cheeks, then blend it out with the finger. You can also mix them with liquid highlighter on the cheeks or lip gloss on the lips for a more radiant and shinier look. But as mentioned, the longevity will be compromised. If you dears are into the more subtle look, you may use a thin sponge blender to blend. It will reduce the color intensity. And if you dears want a blush from within look, you may apply them before you apply your liquid foundation and blend with a thin sponge blender. If you dears are sensitive to fragrance but love the dreamy, blurry matte finish, you may look at their previous range which is their Gem Matte Deep Cream. 
this gem matte are fragrance free and has the same blurry dreamy effect. Although these gem mattes are meant for the lips, they can also be used on the cheeks. So conclusion, are this Sicky Girl Lip to Cheek Flush worth buying? Hmm, maybe yes. They have beautiful and vibrant colour with pretty, dreamy, blurry matte finish. Their pricing is affordable. They have super long-lasting power. Except that when I mix them with the liquid highlighter and lip gloss. Not my cup of tea though because I'm not drawn to their scent. I'll prefer the Gem Matte Lip Cream because it is fragrance-free. I hope that you find this video helpful for you dears. And now dears, it's your turn to share with me. What is your most favourite lip to cheek flush colour in this video? I love to hear from you, so please share your talk with me in the comment section below. Thank you so much. And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Continue to love, continue to grow, continue to blush. Thank you dears for watching. If you happen to like this video, please subscribe and click the bell notification button below for my future videos. If you'd like to connect with me more, please visit me at my Instagram and Facebook platform. The address should be over here on the screen. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye! And before you go, please check out this video that YouTube thinks it is best for you. Thank you!